The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone, welcome to the recent and hot Salesforce interview question series by Series Info Solutions. Do subscribe the channel for getting such more useful information the way we are going to discuss today. So today we are going to discuss how we can answer the interview questions like how to write the first Apex program. Let's speak about that and let's have some discussion on that. First of all, you can answer this question by explaining them the structure of Apex program. This kind of questions come when you are a beginner level person or a kind of a beginner level interview is going on. So first of all, understand what is the process. The process is something like this. You have to go to Salesforce. You have to log into Salesforce and click on this gear icon and click on the developer console. Then a developer console will open where you can do programming and let me explain you something about that. So once the window gets open, then uh, you will see it's something like this. In that you have to click on the file and you have to go to the new and Apex class. So this is the path by which you can create your new Apex class. So let me click on the new Apex class and it will ask you for the name of the Apex class. So let me give here CRS first Apex class something like that you can even give underscore if you are comfortable for that and uh, this way you can actually do the needful click on ok and uh, then it will give you the sample structure of the apex class and that also you should understand first of all public is nothing but the access specifier which actually lets uh, let the system know what kind of access the class content is going to have or content is going to have so it's going to be available for everyone then you can make it public class is nothing but a keyword which is nothing but the way to explain that whatever is we are going to write it's nothing but an apex class and this is the apex class name which can be anything which relates to the business requirement and here we need to write our code so in this code we write two things one is we declare variables and second thing we actually write functions which is also uh, it's also called a method in fact the standard way is a method okay we can call it as a method so this way we need to actually proceed and uh, write the scenario after that please note another important thing that we need to do is we need to now declare the variables and we write the code inside this and we need to write the functions for the same so now here we can create our function we can write our code by explaining various things for example let me tell you by doing comment so this this red line will be removed we can give the comment for the same so here we can write a variable to store the data and we can actually work on methods to write our uh, to write our business logic so here you can write a method for example making a sum or for example making a calculation or subtraction etc so this way you can actually create your first apex class inside that then we can write various types of variables various types of methods and you can understand various once you understand the types of variables and apart from that what kind of return types are there what kind of variable storage types are there and then after this all information you can complete the apex class so i hope you will be able to answer this in the interview and uh, let's meet in the next interview question for such more beginner level, fresher level interview questions and even the experience level interview questions as well. Do subscribe to this channel for getting more updates like this.